Hey everybody, back again, back at Steve's place tonight, which is kind of the only place that I would want to use for a video like this. I've got Andre hanging out behind the camera, running super light. And tonight we're going to be talking about apps, specifically a question that I get asked on a regular basis. You know, what are your, your top apps? What are your favorite apps? What are your top three apps? So we're going to talk about some of my favorites, why they're my favorites, just super quick run through so that for everyone that's asking me that question, I can give you the answer in one video. Anyway, let's get the phone out, let's get talking about apps, and let's see if we can get any communication while we're at Steve's house. Let's go. So as you can see, these are the apps that I have currently on my phone that I use, and I don't use them all, all the time, but we'll go into each one of them individually and have a look. So first up, and probably the most common app that I use is the ghost tube and you see it all the time we'll put it up on the screen there and this is just my go-to I like it for filming videos I like it because it gives you direct words for communication uh, but just the, the filming thing is also fantastic it provides me with another camera angle see I can right now while we're filming here I hit record so now I'm recording Andre I've got the app running as well. We're trying to get communications. I have no volume on on my phone. Not that we're getting any communication right now anyway, but let's, uh, where's my volume switch? There it is. So I'll put the volume up just while we're in this app. So it just, door. Yeah, we came through the front door. door. <laughs> the last time I was actually in this house by myself, Ghost Tube said Andre. It was actually yes. the first thing it said, so. It misses me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is just, it provides you with that filming look so you can film through it and get direct communication. So that's, this is honestly, in terms of maybe not the, the best overall app, but it does provide you with useful tools and is itchy face, uh, the most common for me to use. I'm gonna stop recording with my phone here. So yeah, at, at least from, from a video making point of view, Ghost tube is fantastic. The communications often make sense, not all the time, but often make sense. And, and you've got built in things like filters and stuff so you can make your video look a certain way. It's just an all around good app to use to create videos. And I don't know, I, I like it. I do a lot of my shorts with it. So first off, and these undecided. These, undecided. <laughs> we, we've decided you're good, good you ghost tube. You are good. Uh, yeah, it just. Go away. What? <laughs> I don't want to go away. We want to talk about apps. Is Steve here tonight? Stroke. Suddenly it's just become very active. Mm -hmm. Is Steve here tonight? I'm not recording through it anymore, but. Anyway, in, in this list of apps, in no particular order, just... Make a noise. We made noise. Can you make a noise? Now we have to listen. Closet. We can go to a closet. That's probably a closet over there, and when Laura was in here recently, she felt like her hand was being touched. Is that where you are? Over there? I know I'm pointing the phone that way, but I'm not actually recording through the app right now. I'm just pointing the phone that way. Closet. Anyway, I'm going to resume my video now, Ghost Tube, if that's okay. If you want to talk more though, please, please feel free. Time. We have time. So as you can see, Ghost Tube communicating. I'm, I'm actually going to Close it there, just so that we can finish this little segment about Ghost Tube. So yes, it, you get communications like that. You get to record through it. It is the main app that I use as a video maker, just because it gives you that filming option. And I can actually film other devices through Ghost Tube. So just from that dimension, and, and you heard the communication there, Ghost Tube, probably the number one app I use. Anyway, let's move to a different area of the house and we'll talk about some of the other apps. Let's go. 
Okay, so you can see a few more ghost tube apps there. There's Vox, there is SLS, and Seer. So let's quickly talk about those apps. So with Vox, and I'll bring it up here quick, again, we can record through the app, and I'll just show it on the screen there. You get to stare at Andre. So Vox is an app that I've used from time to time, and I don't wanna get as interrupted by it here, so I'll turn it down. But we have had interesting results with it. At Steve's place here, actually, the first time I ever tried Vox, I got the name Steve, which was really interesting. Uh, it, it's an app I use from time to time. It, um, it, it gives you interesting feedback. I, I won't say it's 100% accurate, but I won't say any app, period, or any device, period, in the paranormal world is 100% accurate. So it's, it's a fun one to play with. Uh, you can get some interesting results. It, it's a lot like a spirit box in that you're going to get a fair bit of nonsense as well. So it's, it's a matter of making sense of it all. Uh, the other ghost tube app is SLS. And I will actually film Andre through that one and put it up on the side of the screen here, just so that you can see what SLS is doing. So we've got a stick figure there for Andre. That's what Andre looks like as a stick figure. So we shine this into an empty room. We get a figure. I've had it happen at a few locations where this is shining into an empty room and we get a figure. The other thing this has though, is the LiDAR feature. And for some reason, I need to go into my settings and just reactivate my subscription. Restore purchases. I don't know why GhostTube does this. GhostTube developers, if you're there, every so often I have to go in and restore my purchase. Don't know why. No, oh, no, I need to go. I want to activate the 1080 setting. There we go. Turn on the LiDAR. Turn on the LiDAR. There we go. So now I'm recording through LiDAR, and that's using laser from the phone. And you can see the brighter something is, the closer it is to the camera on the phone. So my camera there that Andre's holding is brighter than Andre. But the stick figure is over Andre. And again, you'll see this on the corner of the screen this recording. So that is SLS. Again, some interesting results with that, shooting it into empty spaces. Uh, it does give a fair number of false positives. The plus side to that is that they are easy to figure out just by turning on a flashlight and looking. And if there's something there that looks like it might be considered human shaped, odds are that's what was giving you the reading. But if there's nothing there, then you start to wonder what was giving you the reading. Anyway, that is SLS. Let's jump quickly to the newest ghost tube app and one that I've just started playing with and Andre hasn't even seen yet because he hasn't been out with me yet. It's that new. And this one is called Ghost Tube Seer. And this one uses artificial intelligence. And for all these videos, if, if YouTube will allow me that many cards, I'll put links to videos about these, these apps specifically. Uh, but Seer is a more recent one. And you can see here, the AI is generating an image. And it is apparently using interactions with spirits, manipulating the sensors in the phone to generate an artificial intelligence image, much like your, your mid journeys and stuff would using prompts. Looks like a carnival or something. Interesting. So yeah, ghost tube seer. Again, it's fairly new. It's one I've just started playing with. I have done some shorts with it because again, you can film through it. I just got a whiff of cigarette smoke again in Steve's place, which is really weird that there's nobody here, but every so often you get a whiff of cigarette smoke in here. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's, that's it for the ghost tube family. I enjoy using them all. You can film through them all, which is always a nice plus as someone who makes videos. So that's the, the top group of apps that I use. There are more, and we're gonna talk about them, but we're gonna go upstairs and talk about them. Let's go. The next app we're gonna look at is one that I've had a lot of success with at, at a very specific location, actually, and Andre's actually been there 
when this app has gone off. And this is the Spirit Music Box. And this one Crazy. is very, very interesting. So it only goes off with interactions with your phone. I'm going to make sure my brightness is up here. My airplane mode is on. So I'm gonna show it first because I have to actually set this app down and not be holding my phone when we're using it here. Well, let me know you've got focus and shown it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're gonna set it down. And Andre, if you can bring the camera in on the app now and I'll keep talking. I'm gonna hit the start button and we'll just see if we get anything here. I don't know if we will here or not. But so basically what we're doing is we're waiting for interactions with the phone. If I touch the phone, you can see the gyro and the movement going. I turn down the volume. Yeah. And I put the volume back up. So my hand over the phone, nothing. Around the phone, nothing. If I bring this light, I'm just gonna reach across here. The light has a battery. So the battery and the light is affecting things. Move it away. Vibration. Yep. Why did the compass go there? There was nothing by it. Can you do that again? Can you make it go off again, please? See. So the gyro and the movement lit up when I hit the desk, I'll do it again. It's dusty. <laughs> so basically, if, if anything interacts with your phone, the music plays. So it's fantastic if, you're, if you wanna leave it set up somewhere, it's loud enough that you can hear it. Uh, we've had it going in a room and left that room to do something else and it's gone off in a room where it's been by itself. Uh, it's gone off by itself while we were standing there watching it and could not figure out why it was going off. So in, in terms of video making, it's not a video app, but it is an interesting app and it does take direct intervention for something to happen. If nothing happens to your phone, nothing is going to happen with the app. So as an investigative tool, it has use. And that, that's why I like it. I'm just gonna change the light set up there. It's just, it's an app I enjoy using. It's an app that has given some very interesting results so far, and I will continue to use. And it's on the list of apps that I use on a pretty regular basis. Anyway, uh, if we can bring that back up, I'm gonna close out of that. Get back to normal phone mode here. And we'll go into the next app by the same developer. Um, and that's the developer's Spotted Ghosts. They, um, they actually gave me a copy of Spirit Music Box to try. So that, uh, you watch that video, I'll throw the card up in the corner too. If, uh, if I have enough space for all the cards in this video. Uh, but another app they make is called Spirit Talker. And I will show that one quick. And this one, I know there are mixed reviews on. There are some people that really like it, some people not so much. I do like to use it from time to time. I keep it on my phone as a regular app and I will turn it on and turn the magnetometer on. And it is very much like GhostTube in that it generates words. Uh, you cannot film through it, but it does the word generation. And I have had some pretty interesting words come out of it in the past. Uh, that said, I've also had some words that seem very, very random come out of it. So it, it's very much a, a take it or leave it kind of thing. I don't know. I, I do enjoy it. I've had people tell me that the EMF on their older phones crashes the app a lot. So uh, one guy actually messaged me today asking for if, if I knew how he could get a refund because the app doesn't work. Uh, I don't, sorry. But for me, it, it, I haven't had any issues with it crashing. The results seem legit and the developer seems like a legit ghost hunter type guy. So I like it. That, that's not 
to say that I don't question some of the things it gives. So I'll stop it here. There's no point in running it. We will close it. And there are, well, there's one more app that I keep on my phone regularly. So let's go to the kitchen. We'll try that one out and we'll wrap up this video. Let's go. So the final app, and this is another regular one that I keep on my phone, is again, another newer one that I have invested in. This is a straight up tool. It is called the Ghost Paranormal Science Toolkit M3. So I think if you just look up a Ghost Science M3 on the App Store, you'll find this one. And this is just a whole suite of tools. So we've got audio recording and level monitoring, EMF, EVP, a geoscope, various cameras, LiDAR, SLS, barometer. It's just a whole suite of tools that can be used. So I'm going to set it down so Andre can show it to you with the camera and uh, we can take a look at a couple of the things in here and just see if we get anything while we're standing here and show you some of the stuff in this one. So we set it down. You see this is your main screen. We can go into the dashboard view and turn it on. And if I talk, you see the audio go up. Uh, it's got a light meter, which is the Lux. So if I bring, I'm just gonna grab light. You can see the Lux meter going up. So it's measuring the light. There's just a whole suite of tools measuring things as we go here. And you can go into each of these tools individually and calibrate them and customize them. This is just an overall dashboard view. So if I stop it, hit the back button. Now let's do it this way, back button. So say we go into audio, turn on the audio, and now we're monitoring audio levels. You can see all the waveforms. You can see everything going, we can record. It's just very, very useful. So we can sit here in the quiet for a second Beep. You see, so it's just, it's monitoring the audio levels and, and you can record with it. If we go into some of the other tools here, uh, let's do, let's do the geoscope. So the geoscope is actually measuring for vibrations. So if I suddenly vibrate the phone, so if you were to leave your phone sitting on a floor and say somebody, step near it, it lights up because it detected something, measures it. Again, just a, a useful, useful tool. I'll kick the cabinet again, and you can see just how it's working. So all in all, very, very useful. Uh, if you can keep the, the camera on the phone here, I'm gonna bring up the, the LiDAR through this app because I do enjoy the LiDAR through this app too. So this LiDAR actually has a color. So the closer something is, the redder it appears. You see that light, which shows up as blue, but on the LiDAR view is a deep red because it's close to the camera. Whereas the passageway, which you can't really see because it's so dark with the camera, turns up as blue because it's just further away. It's just an interesting, interesting view, interesting way to view the world. Anyway, that's, uh, I'll let Andre adjust here. We're good? Yeah, we're good. That's it for the apps. Let's, uh, let's close this out and move on. Let's go. So there you have it. Those are the apps that I use on a regular basis. They are the ones that stay on my phone. There's a lot more that come and go on a regular basis as I try, try them out. Those are the core. Uh, are they the best? Maybe, maybe not. I know other people swear by apps like Dead Wave and Necrophonic. I personally have not had any success with those. That doesn't mean they don't work. They may work for you and not for me. And some of these apps that I use may work for me and not for you. Uh, ultimately, the goal is to gather 
evidence and try and prove what is happening. Whatever tool or method you use to do that, if you can repeat it and do it again and again and it works for you, then gather the evidence. The tool doesn't matter if you can repeat it and make it make sense and, and just repeating. I mean, and keep repeating. Get repeatability, but also find something you're comfortable with. So these are the apps that I use. I would recommend personally any of them to any investigator. I know some people don't like some of them already. I've, I've had that in my comments. Fair. Um, I'm not going to hate you because you don't like, or I'm not going to not like you or hate you because of an app that I like that you don't. We can just agree to disagree and move on. And you use what works for you. I use what works for me. Anyway, that's, uh, that's to answer one of the most common questions I get on this channel is what apps do I like? What apps do I recommend? What apps do I consider the best? I don't consider any one app the best. They all have to be used together in various ways to generate evidence. Anyway, if you like these app videos, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you've got any apps that you've tried and had success with that you want me to give a try to. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Let's find something.